It started off fine, but this episode looks to be another one of those weirdly animated episodes. You'd think they'd use their A-team on an episode as big as this one, but I guess not. Aww. Oh god, we do not need to see this shit again. What the hell's going on with Steven's mouth here? Rose's gem is supposed to be a pentagonal facet, but in this shot it's suddenly hexagonal. The fact that this stack of books looks more like a cube with book textures painted on it is bothering me. All those out-of-town summer babes traveling away from home without their boyfriends, if you know what I mean. Nope! A special new friend to have fun on the beach with in the summer! I guess Connie doesn't fit that description well enough? Next time you see me, I'll be on the arm of a hot woman's. Hot woman's. <laughs> also, that lip syncing isn't even close. Watch where you're going, you little... Huh? No! He had plenty of time to get out of the way of that. Also, shouldn't the words on the front of the van be mirrored here since, you know, it's in front of a mirror? Also, also, I didn't know motionless statues could drive vans. You work! What's it like being a mirror? You work! The concept of how this mirror works is really creative. Stringing together old sentences to make new sentences, and the time it must have taken to figure out what to have it say, is really commendable. The smells of the busy boardwalk. The hot, wet ocean wind. The time to take that pressure that's built up all year and just let it out. <laughs> The citizens of Beach City must all have the sense of humor of a five-year-old if this is that funny to them. The logos on both Lars and Sadie's shirts aren't mirrored like they should be here. Did Steven ever actually frown like this in front of the mirror? You'd think that after Steven pretty much ignored its concern with telling the gems, the mirror wouldn't have changed its mood so quickly. Also, the image on the mirror stays on screen for a frame despite the mirror itself going off screen. This pile looks to be right in front of Amethyst in this shot, but then in the next shot it seems to move. Also in this shot, the refrigerator's handles are on the left side, but earlier the handles were on the right side. You didn't tell me it's like a person! Wait, what? Why does everyone act so shocked by this? Seriously, for all they know, this could be one of Steven's little nonsensical quips or a misunderstanding of how the mirror actually works. Do they know something we don't? Because for all we know, they pretty much think the mirror is just some kind of educational tool. And they should only be concerned when the mirror actually does start talking to Steven. What exactly is this mirror reflecting right now? Because it looks like it's reflecting the sand outside when that should be nowhere near possible from this angle. Just couldn't help yourself, huh? Just for you, Steven! Why and how does the mirror just forget that the gems are standing right near them? This head turn should only make sense if it's accompanied by this sound effect. Garnet's left palm is supposed to have Ruby's gem on it, but in this shot it has Sapphire's gem on it. Same thing here, Ruby and Sapphire's gems are swapped for this entire sequence. I feel like this moment would be way more impactful if Arcade Mania didn't already show us what Garnet's eyes looked like. Lunch. Me! Ow! Garnet never actually said out in front of the mirror, only Steven did. After Steven releases Lapis from the mirror, the mirror itself just completely disappears. Why does Lapis's hair look so much darker here than it does in any other episode? Maybe they were still working out how they'd want to design her, but it's still a little off-putting. And I don't think it being nighttime would affect it that much. And then not even 10 seconds after revealing her, they draw her gem upside down here. And then her gem just disappears here. The shadow made from this hand being created indicates that Lapis made a left hand. But in the next shot, it's a right hand, making the shadow make no sense. Lapis Lazuli's theme is so damn good. Her leitmotif is probably one of the most memorable themes in the show to me, and the different ways they use it is just superb. They're not gonna let us leave. Steven, come with me. She says they won't let them leave, followed by her trying to leave? I don't know, you seem like you'd be able to pull it off just fine by the looks of it. Wow, the ocean does not look very big in this shot. It looks more like a small river. 
Don't trust them, Steven. Goodbye. I hate how this is never really elaborated on at this point. Seriously, after Lapis introduces the plot point of the Crystal Gems potentially not being as righteous as we were led to believe, it's just dropped in favor of ha-ha funny grounding moment. Steven should have about 15,000 questions rolling through his head right about now, and I'd understand if they had run out of time to answer anything in this episode, but then do it in Ocean Gem. This feels less like the question everything moment I think it was intended to be, and more like cheap shit that isn't elaborated on. Wait, what? 